working between programs, especially with architecture models, whether it's furniture or an entire building, you probably notice that in many cases the topology of the shape goes wild once you export and import a mesh between softwares, and that's happened a lot in Blender, so in today's video, let us talk about it. Most multi-software people find it easier sometimes to split the work between programs, like for example modeling in a CAD software then rendering in Blender, the problem as you see here, in most cases you will get this kind of mesh topology, to fix this in Blender, we use the remesh modifier, and the process is quite easy, let us say we select this part, and isolate it, then in the modifiers panel, add to it the remesh modifier, and immediately you will see the result. Now for architecture elements using sharp would be better than voxel, so we switch to it, then just increase the depth value a bit to get the entire mesh back and fixed, this way you can continue working on this mesh in a healthy way without getting any weird looks in the shading process, and would make it much easier for you if you want to export this mesh back again or just the UV maps. The problem with this remeshing process is, if you turn on the poly count viewer, you would see that this method added 12 times the poly count to this mesh, we went from 130 to around 1700 vertices, and that's a lot, so in the end it goes back to whether you value the topology more or the poly counts in your scene. Another thing we need to mention, and this is more of a trick in general, I noticed online that many people including me have the remesh freezing their blender once they add it to relatively large meshes, so like in this scene, if we would add the remesh modifier to this part, it will freeze blender entirely, and the thing here is that the default value for the voxel size result in too many faces at once, and that can make the process not responsive, to go around this, and as I said, this is more of a trick so it works with all modifiers not only the remesh, to avoid the freezing in your scene, I would add the remesh modifier to a simple shape first, like a cube, then lower down the values in it, so we make the sharp depth on 2, after that we can copy this modifier with the same settings to the first mesh using Ctrl L for the link command, and again in this shape. We increase the depth value to get the mesh back with fixed topology. So that's it. Would I recommend using the remesh in ArchViz scene? With caution, maybe. For me, the poly count in any scene is far more important than a clean topology. So, yeah, that's it. Hope this been useful. See you guys next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.